end of uh, 2022, DJI bought a, another update, but it's mainly for the RC controller, for the uh, Mini 3 Pro, and um, it's about offline maps. So now when you go into your profile, you'll see the facility for offline maps. So I get quite a lot of people asking about the maps, especially when they're out and about, because not everybody's got hotspots on their phones. Uh, and obviously there are times when, when if you are planning the place you're going to, you can download the maps before you go out uh, and or just keep it there. most important things guys is that obviously at the bottom there there is a slot there for an SD card now obviously when you buy the controller it won't come with that SD card it's got an internal card but you do need that additional SD card and that's going to store the information for your maps so just make that aware as well but when you go into your profile it will let you know if there's not an SD card fitted so don't worry too much so how do we do it? Well, obviously the main thing first, you don't need your drone, so you don't have to worry about your drone being on. All you need is your controller on. Once you turn your controller on, you want to go into profile, which is at the bottom there. And as you can see now, if you, as long as you've updated guys, you, my last video was on about update updates. We've been doing loads of updates and since I've been uh, made that last video that I heard that there's a new update for the DJI Fly app, which is the 1.9.1, .1, which has just come out recently. Anyway, <clears throat> the Fly map, off the offline maps. So we just click on that, and what it would do, it bring up. Don't panic; it's going to bring up the whole world. So you, what you want to do? Well, I'm just going to move my, because I'm, I'm recording this for you guys, I'm just going to move that over there. Um, because I'm, this thing at the bottom here, uh, which I'll show you later, that's the download button. So, what you want to do first is find out where you are on the world, and also um, where you actually want to go. Now, at the moment, for some reason, <laughs> my little blue dot saying I'm in Africa, well, which I know I'm not. So anyway, we just enlarge the area that I want to be. Now I'm in Spain, and I'll just go down to the area that I want to be in. <clears throat> now it's obviously a good idea um, to enlarge it. Now you can see already that little sort of uh, oblong white patch. That's the patch that's going to do your recording. So, so now you can see it's highlighting it more now. So you just... Zoom in to the area you want. So let's just say, because um, I'm not far from Mazaron, so we'll just do the Mazaron area. I'll just bring that down a little bit. <clears throat> so you, you can zoom in, zoom out. So we're just going to say, here's the Mazaron area. Now I can enlarge that a lot more. I'm just going to keep it on that. So that's the Mazaron area. That's the area that I want to record. So if I just press that little arrow there, it will come up uh, so you can, you can put a name to it as well. So I'm just going to put on there, once the keyboard comes up, uh, Mazaron. And he remembers how to spell it. Mazaron, okay, that's all right. So take that, that's it. So there you can see it's downloading already. You've got to wait until it's obviously downloaded if, if you want to uh, move to another area. Now you could make that square bigger if you wanted to. I mean, also bear in mind, guys, um, this might be helpful in the worst instance if you lose your drone, as long as you lose it in that, <laughs> as long as you lose it in that white square. <clears throat> so that's done. So we now, let's say, for instance, we want to move to a different area. Say I want to go down to, 
say Bolwevo. It's another area that I like flying around. So same again, put in what you want to call it. I'll put there Bolwevo. <laughs> I forgot how to spell it. So no doubt some of you are going to say, oh, sure you spelt that wrong. I'm just going to put bowl. That'll do. I know where it is. So, so that's downloading there. Now the other thing is, guys, it will only do it in 2D. It will not um, save it in satellite, guys. If you went into satellite, it will not save it at all. So at the moment, at the present moment, maybe later on, there may be another update later this year where you can do it in satellite. But at the moment, it's just going to be in this format. So always make sure well, it's downloaded. Now, you could make that bigger, <clears throat> especially if you was doing, I don't know, state agent work or something like that, or you're doing some sort of survey. You could make that even a lot more, much more bigger because you've got all the roads there. So we just come out of that. We go back into offline maps. So... As you can see, straight away, it always goes back to the world map. But we go back to, to downloads. So here's the two maps that I've downloaded. Now, for instance, if I say I didn't like the Bolwevo one, I can delete it. So I've deleted that. And you can add as many maps as you like, and that maps will be stored on there. Obviously... I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning, making sure when you're doing this, guys, back at home and planning your uh, routes that you want to fly, that you obviously got the internet on. So I hope you found that useful. I think it's always um, useful to have maps on your controller anyway, especially when you're going out to a place that you don't really know. And don't forget, <clears throat> you can do those maps from anywhere as you can see around the world, if you know, if, you, if you're traveling, if you're traveling from one country to another. So, as always, if you found it interesting, get the thumbs up. If you didn't, get the thumbs down. And uh, I'll catch you on another video. Mm -hmm.